Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a makeup look on this look right here, and it's very different from what I would usually wear, but I like it a lot, and I hope you guys do too. Have fun watching. Bye! Eyebrows and stuff, because it's the same stuff as usual, but I'm going to be bronzing my face with the Wet n Wild bronzer, and I'm using an e.l.f. brush. I'm just gonna dip it in there and then. I didn't think I liked sparkly bronzers. Well, not sparkly, but like have a little glitter in them. But I love this bronzer. I love it. I'm just gonna bronze up my face a little. Sorry, my hair is a hot mess. I tried to hairspray my baby hairs but clearly that hairspray does not work good because my hair is gone crazy get good and bronzed bronze 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 okay Now I'm going to take a, Milan, a Milani baked blush and put my blush on. <laughs> and it doesn't, it's not like it, it's like a, it's very like tan, it's gold and like a light pink. But it looks very pretty with this bronzer. I love it. My hair, like what, what is that? But you know, I can't do much about it, so. Okay, now I'm gonna start on my eyes. And of course, I'm using the Naked One palette and taking the color Naked. I'm just buffing that all in the crease. This is my favorite color ever. And I always use a transition shade because if not, my eyeshadow just does not look good at all. Now I'm going to take the medium contour shade from the Lorac contour palette and just buff that in the crease. And I will list all the products that I use below since I can't show them to you. But, yep, 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 yep. Now I'm going to take the color Creep from the Naked One palette. It's like a navy blue shade. First I'm just going to pack it in the crease so it doesn't do any fallout. And then I'm going to make sure I blend it out really good. Since this color is so dark, I'm going to have to make sure I blend it really well. Mm. 
can kind of bring it down a little right here to make it look like it's kind of going to the bottom lash line. Now for the lid, I'm going to be taking a MAC pigment, like loose pigment, pigment gold shimmer color, and I don't really know the name of it, but I'll have it listed below. And I'm just going to put it in there and tap off the excess. I'm just going to gently pack that on my eyelid. I don't like to, I like to pack it, I don't like to smear it because it'll get everywhere and make a mess. I love these pigments. I have a few of them. I don't use them much because I always forget about them. But I love them. It's getting everywhere. I'm going to take a little of that and put it on my lower lash line. A little pop of color. Cause I don't like to put dark colors in my bottom lash line because I feel like it, it makes my eyes look really small. So I usually just put gold up underneath or whatever color I put under my eyebrows to highlight the inner corner and up under my brow bone. I'm going to be taking the shimmer highlight from the Lorac Contour Palette because it's so white and I love putting white in my tear ducts because it makes eyes look so big and bright. Now that that's done, I'm going to put my eyeliner on. And I'm going to use the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. It's the best eyeliner ever. I'm going to just lightly line up my lash line. Okay, now that I'm done my eyeliner, I'm going to put my mascara on.
Okay, now I'm going to put my lipstick on. I'm using the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the color Melted Berry. It's like a deep red color. Okay guys, well that's it for this makeup look, and it's really not what I would usually wear. <laughs> not big on wearing red lipstick because I just don't feel like I look good in it, so I just don't ever wear it. But I hope you guys enjoy, and comment below what you want to see me do next, and I will do it because I'm willing to do anything. And any questions you have or anything, just comment them below and I will answer them. And see you guys next time. Bye.